Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Not too long ago, I had a little mishap in the basement bait shop here where I knocked over an open top water box, spilled everything all over the place, took me several hours to clean that box up, get everything organized the way I had it. And it frustrated me because I broke one of the number one rules in fishing and I figured because of that, I would do a video regarding some of the rules in fishing that you don't want to break. So I wrote down 10 rules of fishing that I like to follow every time I'm out on the water. These are rules I teach to my boys and then they are in no particular order. But to start off, number one, like I just mentioned, you always lock the tackle box. I don't care if it's a little box like a 3700 by Plano or it's a full-size tackle box. If you don't lock it or latch it shut, it's going to cause problems at some point. So rule number one, lock the tackle box. Number two, don't leave the live bait in the sun. This is something that routinely happens in my household. Uh, we use a lot of crawlers down by the riverbank. The boys like to get a worm out. We put it on the hook, and then they end up leaving the worms in the sun. That will quickly take care of your live bait, make it dead bait. And honestly, it doesn't have to just be worms. It could be your minnow bucket, whatever. Everything lasts longer if you try to keep it out of the sun. Rule number three, boat launch etiquette. Don't block the boat launch. That's a pretty simple one. If you're a uh, bass boat, if you're a John boat, if you're a kayak, if you bring a paddle boat, the last thing you want to do is block the boat ramp with it. Launch it, move it out of the way, pull the boat and truck or the truck and trailer out of the way. You'll be good to go. Rule number four. <clears throat> when fishing, don't toss things onto the bottom of the boat. What I mean by that is maybe you've got a pair of pliers. Don't just toss it into the bottom of the boat so it clanks all over the place. If you're fishing with somebody and you want to get a weird look, throw the pliers on the floor and they'll probably look at you and think, why did he just make so much noise? This, especially if you're in an aluminum boat. I know if I take my river boat out and I toss something down into the bottom, it feels and sounds as if every fish in the lake will disappear from me because it just made so much noise. So try not to make much noise in the boat. And these aren't necessarily supposed to be like comedic. These are honestly like rules you should follow every time fishing. <clears throat> Number five, and this is probably something we have all heard before, but it could not be more true. Look over your shoulder when casting. The last thing you want to do is make a cast without knowing somebody standing behind you, which therefore leads to uh, somebody getting hooked. And when they do get hooked, at that point, all you're hoping for is it's in a location where it's not going to be a big mess. I've seen some pretty gruesome, uh, pretty gruesome hooks in places you don't want them to go. And that's one of my biggest fears. Makes me cringe thinking about it. So look over your shoulder when casting. Number six, when not using a bait, make sure to secure that bait or that hook to your rod. And what I mean by that, and this is something that my boys like to do, they like to reel up the bait so that there's about that much line hanging from the bait to the rod tip. All that's gonna do is cause problems down the road. Whether that means you're moving from an, a new spot in the boat, that line will Twist around everything else that's in the boat. If you're by multiple other rods, it'll create one big knot. If you're a bank fisherman and you leave the bait unsecured, it's probably going to end up in a bush or in a tree. So just secure it. That's a simple, easy thing to do. When you're done with a rod, secure the hook, put the rod down, pick a new one up. It'll make your life that much easier. Rule number seven. Where are we? Rule number seven. Wear your life jacket. When the boat is running, it is very, very much important to wear your life jacket, have a kill switch hooked up if you have one. And if you're fishing, it's probably still a good thing to be wearing your life jacket, especially if you're a youngster, so a little kid. 
or if you don't know how to swim, wear your life jacket. There's no reason not to. Uh, but for sure, when the boat is running, absolutely, life jackets kill switches. It will save lives. Rule number eight, and we've probably all been there with this one too, put the plug in. Make sure you put the plug in. Um, I'm lucky enough that my Skeeter now just has a switch so I can turn it, but I will tell you this, over the course of my life, I have forgot to put the plug in multiple, multiple times, and it can make for a hectic start to the day. So put the plug in. Rule number nine, this is a pretty straightforward one too, but it can make for a bad day if you do not buy a fishing license. Before you head out to the lake, make sure that your fishing license is valid and that you've got one for the area and the species that you're fishing. And rule number 10, and this is one that my little boy Duke would say and does say every time we go fishing, bring the snacks. You can turn a bad day of fishing around with some pretty simple, straightforward snacks, uh, not just for kids, but for yourself as well. There's nothing wrong with eating a few snacks in the boat. Those are 10 simple rules of fishing. Like those are things that we all should follow. If we follow those, we'll have a much better time on the water. And you won't spill your tackle boxes all over the place or end up with dead live bait. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments section, what are some other rules of fishing that you follow to prevent a good day of fishing turning into a bad day of fishing? Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.